Read lines 22 to 23 from the poem. The sky at night written upon with those jewels. What does the word choice in these lines convey about the speaker? Well, let's go back up and look at exactly what's happening here. So it's one thing to look in the sky, imagine yourself in it among the clouds. So here it's daytime, they're looking at clouds, but contrasting that, it was another thing to see the sky at night written upon with those jewels. So the jewels here are clearly the fireworks in the night sky. And they're somehow maybe even more special than looking up the clouds in the daytime. So let's go back to the answer choices and take a look. E, the speaker values material possessions. No, the jewels are a metaphor for the fireworks. There are not literally jewels in the sky, so E is incorrect. F, the speaker imagines that the fireworks are magical. Well, just because they use a metaphor doesn't mean there's magic involved. There's no suggestion of magic. So I'm not sure F is quite correct. And is that consistent with the main idea? Because again, this is the speaker's point of view. So no, that's magical is not really the main idea of the passage. G, the speaker believes that the country setting is distinctive. Hmm, no, there was a contrast here that set the night sky and the fireworks against the clouds. That distinction is not about the country setting. And the question is asking, what does the word choice in these lines, specifically the sky at night written upon with those jewels? So that is not correct. She's not the right distinction or contrast, and that contrast goes beyond the words from lines 22 to 23. So G is not correct. H, the speaker cherishes the memory of seeing fireworks as a child. Yes, the speaker is thinking, you know, fondly uh, with, you know, thoughts of these fireworks being valuable and special, seeing them in the night sky. That's part of the metaphor. And that suggests they cherish the memory. And that is also consistent with the main idea, which the speaker's point of view answer should be. So H appears to be the correct answer for 20.